What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, it's M3Craft here and today guys I'm going to do an unboxing of a new graphics card that I just got and first of all thank you so much Amazon that you sent me the box exactly like that with the label on the top showing my address of course because the person that is delivering needs to know but showing the content is definitely not clever and um, at least you could put it in a big envelope or a small box but not showing what it is. For me, that is definitely not clever, at least some privacy. But anyway, this is the Asus um, Dual Mini GeForce RTX. So this is a 3060 Titanium and is a eight byte dedicated uh, graphics card. Uh, the one that I have at the moment is the Asus 1660 Super with 16 gigabytes. Uh, the thing is that I noticed that lately I'm having some issues and that's the reason why I wanted to invest in graphics card at the moment. I was thinking about the 3090 but it is probably not worth at least now. Because for the usage that I give to this computer, the one that I'm now using to record this video, is the one that usually I use as well for my live streams um, and I use my PlayStation connected all the time play the games. If I would be playing plenty of games on this computer, probably would be not the best, but even like that, this one is a really, really good um, uh, one, even if you want to play up to 2K. Some people were saying that 4K is still good and stable, uh, that I will find out and I want to test that as well. But in the future, in the near future, possibly, I would get the 3090 and I would sell this one. The thing is that because I will start using more an, um, Unreal Engine uh, for, because of my studies, and um, at the moment is no point because it's not what I'm doing, even if I like to practice using the Unreal Engine. But with this one, it's going to be good um, uh, already. So with the 3090, it's definitely way better when it's to do some really higher renderings but when is you are just testing you are not creating nothing uh, to be official this one is definitely enough let's find out let's do the unboxing of the baby okay so this one has a uh, three um display ports and one hdmi which actually really good because the one that i have it's three it's um two um, HDMI's and one display port um, which was going to make a big difference because to be honest I prefer to use the display port so let's let's opening So inside the box is the graphics card, some manuals, speed setup, and what is this, dual overlocking, so it's like a certificate, graphics card, and um, thank you for purchasing Aces graphic card. I love Aces products. Um, because the graphics card that I have is the Aces, and the motherboard is Aces, and the monitor is Aces. So it's a lot of products Aces because I really trust them. So let's install and find out and see how is the performance. So that here is the graphics card. Let me just uh, just uh, open. Here is how it looks like. This is how it looks like. Okay. 
HDMI and the three display ports. You see, this one is my um, 1660. It's way bigger, so this one is going to be up here, and uh, so it's going to be way shorter. It's it's a quick clean and some dust inside, but yeah, let's install. Okay guys, so I'm now testing the graphics card, the 3060 Titanium. Um, to be honest, the best software to work with uh, to, to try this graphics card is the Unreal Engine 5 because it's an engine that gets a lot from the graphics card. I will just even show uh, the recording for using my phone. Uh, as you can see, the, the CPU is quite low. It's, it's 17, 16, it's like between uh, 16, 20. And the GPU is quite high, which is totally normal, because anyway, I'm using the OBS is recording and it's no lag at all, uh, because on the previous graphics card, to be honest, on the bottom, on the bottom bottom left, it would already say overload, so try to change the bitrate, and I'm using a 30,000 bitrate to record this video. So. Uh, it gets a lot from the graphics card. If the, the Unreal Engine works fine um, with the with the graphics card, it means that all the games when you are when you are playing Ultra Extreme is going to be really smooth. Um, but let me just get a close up. Um, let me just go uh, to the building. So this one is a sly, a sly animation. A sly animation. Mm. And it has a lot of shaders because this one has over 7,000 shaders. If I'll be uh, using uh, the basic, um, just like the skeleton that we, how we call the skeleton and raw uh, footage, like when you are designing something without all, of course, the, the shaders and all the, the textures, uh, all the skins, basically, uh, just to give the shape and to give color and everything into. Uh, the building itself or the characters but I can even just change for um, the, um, the skeleton one let me just get a close up just going through the building I don't know oh, what's happened here what's happened here I just yeah <laughs> I just pressed a wrong um, key on a keyboard and that's the reason why it was a little bit jumpy um, let me just um, grab, you know, something. Let me just move this. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. Um, looks good to me, and definitely is very responsive. Is no lag with OBS, which is the most important to me. Uh, because as I said, I'm not going to use the graphics card basically to to play um, a lot of games. Uh, mostly it is going to be by, for the capture card and, and that's it. I'll be using eventually more the Unreal 
um, but at the moment uh, I don't need to use it much at least on this computer but if I will start using more I would say that this graphics card is not the best for the Unreal it's good, it's definitely good but if I will try to do a lot more uh, especially if I use MetaHuman it's going to be probably a bit slower but I need to try uh, to see how it looks like when using the MetaHuman let me jump for the a basic game and um, well, a basically a, ba a basic skeleton uh, game and uh, and after trying with meta meta human okay so this is just a basic project uh, without any shaders without any textures uh, so this is how it looks like when you are designing uh, a game that you are putting all like into blocks um, a platform in this case it's just really really basic uh, so this is a shooting um, a first person uh, shooting game um, that as you can see is just <laughs> blocks that I'm just dragging all around uh, but I'm going to play what been built so far um, and for you to see how it looks like so let me just grab the gun and let's play for a bit that is how it looks like very responsive but very basic very basic let me just jump now to meta human okay, so because i'm now going to show you one example of the, the meta humans uh, as i said this uh, software is it pushes a lot for the, the graphics card the ideal graphics card for these kind of projects or even unreal projects in general is the 3090 uh, because it has 24 gigabytes um, uh, dedicated and this one only has 8 gigabytes the 3060 a titanium it's still good honestly i i can move uh, without any problems uh, like no lag but when he's about to to use a lot this this software um, in terms of more creations the the world the uh, the characters uh, or even the games but let me just play the example because this is just the interaction of these two characters uh, let me just um, do the interaction of the cover. I am a metahuman the next generation of digital human powered by Unreal Engine metahumans are high fidelity digital characters created by you the user on our new content creation platform metahuman creator I am fully rigged ready for animation and motion capture, allowing you to work in context. With everything running live in Unreal Engine, my motion works seamlessly. On other characters, I have eight levels of detail and have been tested on a wide range of hardware platforms, from feature film to mobile. If you're interested in learning about my animation rig or high fidelity deformations, built on control rig, the new strand based hair system via the groom component, or how everything is tied together and animated in sequencer. Then have a look under the hood in this project. This is just a glimpse of things to come. So it, it, it was really, really smooth. Um, in the, like even when running um, the, the background of what been created already so far. Um, but as I said, is definitely better than 3090 for those kind of projects but anyway i just wanted to test this graphic card if actually would handle the software itself which it does and that's what um i want uh, i wanted to achieve and um, because for what i wanted to do as i said the 3060 is definitely enough at least for now uh, because i have my other computer that i can do some other projects um, but for the streaming streaming computer, the, this graphic is definitely uh, ideal. Um, guys, if you have any comments, please leave a comment below. I will be more than happy to answer all the questions. Uh, at least I will try to answer all the questions. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please thumbs up. And if you still didn't subscribe my channel and you would like, push that red button just below and push the bell for you to be notified all the time when I upload these kind of videos or when I'm going live. Guys, thank you so much and uh, see you in the next one. Love you all. Peace out.